I was eating some cornflakes the other day and I thought, wow, that's weird. It that tastes really salty. You don't really think of cornflakes as being salty. But, um, you know, okay, food manufacturers, often they add some salt to sweet food because it enhances the flavor, but not to make it salty. But the, I really noticed that the cornflakes were salty. So I thought, let's have a look and see how much salt is in the cornflakes. And it's got here 1.8 grams per 100 grams of cornflakes. Uh, I think, wow, that's crazy. Uh, maybe I should compare that with other foods to get an idea of the levels on that. So how about uh, a can of sardines? You know, sardines we imagine as being salty. What sort of level of salt do you think would be in that? And it says uh, 1.2 grams. And you think cornflakes have got more salt than sardines? That's really weird. So that got me looking around at other foods. So uh, I've got a packet of uh, digestive biscuits here. And you know, we assume digestive biscuits are sweet biscuits. But let's have a look. 1.1 uh, grams of salt, which is you know, relatively high. What can we compare that with? So I have a look at some uh, potato chips. These are Spanish, but you know, potato chips. Potato chips are definitely salty. 1.1 grams. Exactly the same as digestives. That's great. Obviously, that's going to depend on, on the, the individual brand, but you know, that's amazing. Um, so, obviously, if you, hold, if you have health problems, you, know, you need to be aware of how much salt, and it's you know, not salt that you're sprinkling on your food, there's a surprising amount of salt in food already. Um, so, here's a weird one milk. Again, this is Spanish. Uh, milk. How much salt do you think is in milk? You wouldn't think there's any salt in milk, but you know, 0.13 grams per 100 mils. Uh, you know, the manufacturer isn't sprinkling salt in the milk. You know, maybe the cows eat and it comes out through the others, but that's surprising how much salt is in there. Another weird one is uh, the amount of sugar that is in milk. Uh, it's got 4.6 grams of sugar per 100 mils. Uh, I remember a guy on Instagram getting all, all worked up saying that the, one of the big supermarket chains here in Spain, uh, I can't believe that they're adding sugar to milk. Uh, no, it's just naturally occurring um, lactose, but, you know, guys on Instagram. Um, but, yeah, it is surprising how much salt there is in so many things that we eat and we're, we're not aware of it. When you are looking at the nutritional info, check that it's per 100 grams, not as some cheeky companies put, per serving size. This shows the salt in shortbread biscuits, which are definitely supposed to be sweet, but it's still 0.7 grams. Per serving size, it might be 0.05 grams, which sounds like nothing at all, but who just eats one biscuit? So take everything with a few grains of salt, not a spoonful. It'll give you a heart attack. I'm the social evolutionary. Peace on, or peace off.